Over the past 70 years, the World Health Organization has spearheaded efforts to free the world of killer diseases like smallpox. It's also formed partnerships to end other diseases like polio. We're almost there, this close. 99.9% of polio has been eradicated from the world. That was in 2014. Since then, polio workers have kept up their effort despite conflict and hardship. Last year, 17 children contracted the virus, but polio will only be stamped out when no child gets this disease. Access to life-saving vaccines, not just for polio, but for measles and a host of other viruses, is a problem for many people. That's why the World Health Organization declared the theme for this World Health Day, Health for All. Much of the world is talking about universal health coverage at the moment. It's one of the really global challenges that we have. James Fitzgerald oversees the development of universal health coverage in the Americas at the Pan American Health Organization, a regional division of the World Health Organization. Essentially the same barriers we see elsewhere. Uh, they're geographical, the, the lack of physical uh, availability of healthcare institutions. They are what we call institutional, our relation to the organization, the health, the health system, like waiting times, lack of uh, doctors, nurses, etc. They are financial, uh, where there's just not enough money being put into the system or people have to pay out of pocket. And then there are issues uh, relating to social discrimination um, within the health systems. It's a tall order to see that half the world's people who don't receive the essential health services get what they need without forcing families into poverty to pay medical bills. The WHO argues that when people have access to health care, people live more productive lives. Epidemics can be held at bay, and the countries where they live are more likely to prosper. Carol Pearson, VOA News.